Lolo is the filarial nematode species that causes Lolo filariasis. It is commonly known as the eye worm. Its geographic distribution includes Africa and India. Lolo is one of three parasitic filarial nematodes that cause subcutaneous filariasis in humans. The two other filarial nematodes are Mancinella streptocerca and Oncocerca volvulus. Maturing larvae and adults of the eye worm occupy the subcutaneous layer of the skin a euro the fat layer a euro of humans, causing disease. The young larvae develop in horseflies of the genus Chrysops, including the species C. dimidita and C. silicea, which infect humans by biting them. Biology, morphology, low-low worms have a simple body including a head, body, and tail. Males range from 20 mm to 34 mm long and 350 I1 m to 430 I1 m wide. Females range from 20 mm to 70 mm long and are about 425 I1 m wide. Life cycle Three species involved in the life cycle include the parasite low low, the fly vector, and the human host. A vector fly bites an infected human host and ingests microfilariae. Microfilariae move to the fat body of the insect host. Microfilariae develop into first stage larvae, second stage, then third stage larvae. Third stage larvae travel to the proboscis of fly. An infected vector fly bites an uninfected human host and the third stage larvae penetrates the skin and enters human subcutaneous tissue. Larvae mature into adults, who produce microfilariae that have been found in spinal fluid, urine, peripheral blood, and lungs. Disease, pathogenesis, low-low parasites infect human hosts by traveling from the entrocyte through subcutaneous tissues and causing inflammation in the skin wherever they travel. If a parasite stops in one place for a short period of time, the human host will suffer from local inflammation known as calabar swellings. These are localized, tense. Inflammatory pruritic subcutaneous edema seen in joints of extremities, lasting for one a year or three days. They represent areas of angioedema resulting from a host response to allergens released by the maturating worm and its metabolic products. Calabar swellings often occur in the wrist and ankle joints but disappear as soon as the parasite begins to move again. Parasites can also travel through and infect the eye, causing the swelling of the eye. Common symptoms include itching, joint pain, fatigue, and death. Diagnosis and treatment The main methods of diagnosis include the presence of microfilariae in the blood, the presence of a worm in the eye, and the presence of skin swellings. Surgical removal of the worm can easily be performed. The common treatment for the disease is the use of the drug ivermectin. Ivermectin has become the most common antiparasitic agent used worldwide but can lead to residual microfilarial load when given in the management of loiosis. High microfilarial loads should be decreased by a course of ivermectin, a prolonged administration of albendazole, or cetaphoresis sessions to prevent occurrence of serious adverse events, including fatal encephalopathy induced by dying microfilariae. Cetaphoresis is helpful in decreasing very high microfilarial loads up to 75%. Diethylcarbamazine kills both microfilariae and adult worms but has more severe side effects and can be fatal. References Taxonomy Browser, Low Low. National Center for Biotechnology Information.